Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome everyone to our sixth episode of Veterans Talk. And today we had the Marine Corps League with us. But before we get into that, I'd like to make a couple of announcements. One is some of the activities that are going on in the area is with the American Legion. If anybody would like to go out for a dance, they have a dance out at the American Legion every Sunday afternoon. And also the VFW, they're open on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for supper, and, then, and it's a very good supper if you happen to go out there. And on top of that, they have a dance on Saturday night, then they have singles dance on Sunday. And the other thing I'd like to get out to everyone is about the Reese Across America. The Reese Across America is going to be on the 15th of this month at the National Cemetery. And if you can, I hope you can get out there. I think we're up to 2,000 Reese so far this year, somewhere around there. Is that what they said, Don? You yes. Think? Yes. yes. So we're going to need all the help we can to get these wreaths out. Now, with that, I'd like to introduce my guests today, Don Jones and Jim Williams with the Marine Corps League. And Don, who, who are the members of the Marine Corps? Well, the uh, members of the Marine Corps League were made up of all honorably discharged Marines. All honorably discharged? Yes, sir. And me. And you. <laughs> and I, forgot, I forgot about that. mention that. Yes, we yeah. get our... Uh, Marine Corps birthday ball, um, November 10th, yeah. that uh, we made um, Randy Godbolt here our honorary member. And I just want to tell you that that was, one, other than making chief in the Navy, that was most probably one of the proudest moments I've had in my military career, and thank you all very much for that. You're quite welcome. Right. How many members do you have in the Marine Corps here in Florence? We've got uh, approximately 91 in our detachment here. Okay. And, and how many detachments are in South Carolina? Uh, we have 24 detachments in South Carolina. Uh, across the nation, we got between 85 and 90,000 members of the Marine Corps League. 90,000? Yes, sir. Now, um, wh where do y'all meet when you do have your meetings and stuff? Uh, our detachment right here meets uh, second Tuesday of every month at the Florence uh, County Library. At the library? Yes, sir. And that's in the downstairs where we meet? What? The Founders Room. The Founders Room. And okay. the meeting starts at 1830. And what are some of the leagues, what are some of the activities that the American League does? Or the uh, Marine Corps League does? Our high schools, we have junior ROTC. Mm -hmm. We have approximately uh, nine um, high schools that we give out awards and certificates. And uh, the high school in um, Mullins, it's a Marine Corps or junior ROTC, and we uh, sponsor that one because it's a Marine Corps. But the other ones, we give out certificates and awards. Okay. Okay. Um, and if somebody wanted to join the Marine Corps, what would they do? Um, come to our meeting, which is second Tuesday of every month, and fill out an application and bring your uh, DD-214 form. And uh, we'll take a look at it. Um, if it says honorable on it, you'll get it back, and uh, we'll sign you up. And now if, if someone comes there and they join the Marine Corps, what what's some of the benefits of joining the Marine Corps League? Uh, well, it's the camaraderie, mm -hmm. and um, also it's what we do for our community also. Mm -hmm. uh, for an example, uh, again, Jim will talk about the uh, junior, uh, junior oh, uh, the um, Toys for Tots, toys for tots. Mm -hmm. and uh, also um, we have um, a lot of other things that we do for in here. As, as and and in, they'll get the magazine, correct? The magazine, yes, you get the Simplify magazine, and also if uh, you... Um, uh, go to the uh, Marine Corps Association, you also get the Leatherneck Magazine. Oh, the Leatherneck Magazine. Leatherneck Magazine okay. on there. Uh, about some of the benefits there, plus we have other benefits as far as insurance and um, uh, uniforms okay. also there, because the Marine Corps League, we do you wear Marine Corps League uniforms. Okay, yeah. I noticed at the ball you all had the red coats and stuff on with yes, the, the red, hats. red blazers and mm -hmm. uh, we have red covers okay. that we're on. Well, Jim, tell us a little bit about this real big activity that y'all got going on this time of year. I know it's, it, it's in everybody's heart, the Toys for Tots. I will, but I want to say one thing first. Yes, sir. Uh, the red coats we wear, we're not the British. We're You're not coming. the British? No. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> we're the Marine Corps League coming, okay? Yes. Uh, toys, for, toys for Tots, uh, I've been uh, active with Toys for Tots for the last 10 years here in Florence. Mm -hmm. uh, when I started out, we had 10, 10 55-gallon barrels out. Mm -hmm. And at that time, we gave all the toys to the Salvation Army. Since then, we have broadened out a little further. We cover five counties. We cover Williamsburg, uh, Florence, Darlington, Marion, and Dillon County. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, we gave out 10,000 children 
uh, gave out 10,000 children. We gave toys to 10,000 <laughs> 10, children. Yeah. Um, and this year we expect to do more. We expect to do 11,000 or 14,000 this year. And that's just in this area? The that, don't... Just in this area. We oh, do not man. require, the only thing we require of a person, and once they sign up, is to come in with proof who they are, mm -hmm. and they will get a toy. Okay. Um, we give out two toys per child, and actually we give out a little bit more, but regulations say we're supposed to give out two. Uh -huh. But how we get the toys and what we get, we give out a little bit more, but not much more uh -huh. because of the amount of children we got to cover. Right. Uh, there's another organization in town that gives out 25,000 children, uh, but they give out a big bag of toys. Mm -hmm. we, we're, trying to, we're trying to find the needy child, right. the one that is not going to get a toy for Christmas. Okay. So therefore, we give out, we go to 10,000 children. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of charities, 401, uh, 501-3C charities that come to us. Uh, we take care of um, uh, the uh, DHEC department up in, in Dilling County. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, they have, just for them alone, DHEC has 700 children mm -hmm. that they're going to give toys to. But that's one of the only ones that come to us from Dilling County. Right. Uh, Marion County, we have four or five churches. We have some other organizations. We take care of DHEC there. We take care of DHEC in, in Florence County, mm -hmm. uh, Darling, uh, Darlington County, and also Williamsburg uh, Berg County. Okay. And um, it's, 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 it's nice having it. Uh, I know that we give out this 10,000. Some of those people are not in need. Mm -hmm. They come in just because it's a freebie, and that's why I said that. But basically, I feel that we give out at least 5,000 children that are needy. Mm -hmm. And the other ones are, are those that just heard that there's a free one going on. Right, right. But uh, basically, I don't care who I give them to, as long as they prove it, I'll give them the toys. That's right. Uh, I don't require any, any identification, such as proof of residence or proof of uh, uh, a, a job stub. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I feel a lot of people that are in need right now are living at home with their parents, and therefore they, they couldn't put, su supply that to someone. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I, we, we take care of everyone that walks in the door. As long as they fill out a form on the website. Okay. The form has to be filled out on the website because that way it's timed and dated. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we give out the toys, how, they, how the applications came in. Okay, so they go, the, if, if, you, if a child's in need, or what if I knew of a child that was in need? I, I could go to the website and fill out an application for them to get, receive toys from Yes. Me. Now, where is the website that this is found out? Uh, it's... it's Two ways to get it, you can go to Toys for Tots nationally, mm -hmm. and that will come up and it will say state, and you go to the state of South Carolina, right? and then you go to the county, and whatever right. county you live in, and, it's, and the website will come up for that county, mm -hmm. or whoever who's doing it in that county, mm -hmm. and you can get it. Now, uh, I happen to be the state chairman for Toys for Tots, uh -huh. so this is for all the Toys for Tots, mm -hmm. uh, detachments that are in the state, mm -hmm. and uh, it's the same, same procedure, I mean... Uh, uh, we, we take the applications in by uh, email, right? and you can go to uh, toysfortots.org, mm -hmm. and our, our site will come up immediately, or you can go to toysfortots.com, mm -hmm. and you'll get the national one. Uh -huh. You can volunteer to help. You can sign up for toys. You can sign up for uh, a box to be put in your store or your business uh -huh. to collect toys. Whatever you want to do, it's all on that website. Now, what if someone didn't want to do that and they just wanted to bring you some toys or whatever? Where, what, where would you recommend them take them to here in Florence County? Okay, uh, well, uh, you got about, in Florence County, you got about 150 boxes out on the street. Uh -huh. uh, you can go to Basin's Restaurant, there's one Basin's, there. Basin's, there you go. Uh, Dollar General's all have toy okay. boxes. Uh -huh. um, Put anywhere you, you want. If you go to the website, you can also get a list of a all list the places where they are. Okay. of, of every, uh, every drop-off we have. Uh, one place that we, we get a large number of toys from is from the, um, the athletic clubs. Okay. They, they will put boxes in there. And then uh, mm -hmm. one in particular, McLeod's uh, Health Center mm -hmm. out on uh, McLeod Boulevard, uh, we got four boxes sitting there. And... We got toys in from them right now. Okay. Uh, they came in today. Some came in today. Uh, we are in dire need of toys right now. Uh -huh. We're at a standstill. We, we got toys there, but we don't have a good mix. Uh -huh. So we're waiting for a mix to come in so that we can give out a toy and a game. A toy and a game. We like to give out games 
our books, our coloring books, because they're educational. Right. And, uh, and the children learn to play with one another when mm -hmm. they have a game to play. Mm -hmm. But then we also like to give them a personal toy that the boy or the girl can feel is, is theirs and that's theirs alone. Right. And so we just don't want to give them all games, but we, we try to give games and toys. Do you ever come into the situation to where you might need more of like guy, kids toys, guys or girls, or okay. do you usually run short on either one? Or the, the main things that we run short on that we don't get enough of is we don't get enough for the um, three-year-olds and down, okay. and we don't get enough for the ten-year-olds and up. Okay. okay, it's kind of hard to get toys for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the other ones, uh, the the three to ten, we we'll we'll get a lot of toys for them. Yeah. Okay, we keep our boxes out until December twentieth. Okay. Because I feel that the better toys come in at the later time. Mm -hmm. uh, because the people have done spend their money on their family and they got a little bit of money and they're still in the Christmas spirit, mm -hmm. and they'll buy a big toy and they'll bring it in. Mm -hmm. And if we don't get it out this year, we'll get it out for next year. We, we have a warehouse that we store the stuff in. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to store anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'll tell you, by December the 20th, I'm going to go home and put my feet up on the couch. There you go. You know, it's time to say bah humbug. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And now when, when do you hand, what, is there a particular date that they give the toys out or is it a, a random thing? Or? No, by the space that we have. We've already given out. 90 toys, 90 children, to toys to 90 children already this year. Well, okay. We gave them to the parents. We didn't right. give them to the children. Uh, we have, uh, we're, we're going to be with the Oak Ridge Boys. They're coming in December the 6th, and we're going uh, up there. Uh, we're going to go up and pick out 10, fa uh, 10 families and take them up there and give them toys uh -huh. the night that the Oak Ridge Boys are in town mm -hmm. at the uh, convention center. Mm -hmm. um, this weekend we have uh, Darlington Raceway. You bring a twenty-dollar toy, or twenty dollars. We prefer the twenty dollars mm -hmm. because we can take that twenty dollars and get five basketballs, where you can only get one basketball with twenty dollars. Right. Because Marine Corps Toys for Tots Association has set us up with direct buying to certain suppliers, okay. so we can get more that way. Mm -hmm. um, we also have St. Anthony's on the thirtieth of uh, November is going to have a fish fry on Friday night. And all of the profit from that is going to Toys for Tots. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, if you see our canisters in the restaurants or in barber shops or some places like that, please put your pennies in. They add up to a nice total of uh, numbers o over the, the three months that they're out there. Mm -hmm. So uh, whatever you can do, you can donate cash, you can donate toys. But uh, Saturday, tomorrow... Uh, you're going to have to have a, a $20 donation or a $20 toy. So, it, but this is also one of them organizations that 100% of everything goes into the toys as far as the, the toys go to the okay. toy kids. Toys for Tots reputation is 97 cents out of every dollar 97 goes cents. for toys. Okay. If, shall we say, I receive a check from you for $25, mm -hmm. I have to send it to Toys for Tots. Mm -hmm. They get it. They, in turn, put it on my credit card, and then I have that. Within seven days, I have the money back in to spend. Okay. And normally what we do, we've been fortunate the last couple of years. We start off with about $17,000 in our kitty. Mm -hmm. We'll spend $28,000. Mm -hmm. And by the time we're done spending, and what comes in in December from companies and stuff like that, we'll end up with $17,000 back in the, in the kitty again. Okay. So it keeps us going so that... When we go to this convention that we have in September, we're able to go there and purchase toys at the low prices that I had mentioned. Basketballs, footballs, uh, soccer balls for $4 a piece. Mm -hmm. And they're good, good quality, top quality stuff for athletic stuff. We got a lot of headphones, we got a lot of train sets uh, that we bought already that are sitting in the warehouse right now. But we need the, the mix coming in off the street right now to have a mix to give, be able to give certain items out to other children. Is there anything else that you might need some help with other than the toys and stuff like that? Do you need help with any of your pickups or anything like that? Or? We definitely need help with pickups. We have a, we have, in Florence alone, we have 15 routes with 15 stops per route, okay? Yeah. And it would take someone three hours to do the 15 stops. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is walk in. If there's toys there, you take some of the toys out, you leave some toys there. 
Yeah. Because if you take all the toys out, then you're only, only going to get garbage in the box. Yeah. Okay, so you leave toys there that they know it's a toy box. And check the canisters and bring them in once a week. Mm -hmm. Or you can do an hour a day at, at your leisure on, on your route, but you'll only have 15 stops. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need right now. Right now, we don't have anyone doing that. Okay, do you have a phone number or something that someone would call that you could put out here that they, if they wanted to do something like yes, that? Yes, I do. Call 758 5164 at 758 5164. Is that to you? That's directly to me. Okay, that's okay. good. That's good. Or they could contact me at the office and I'll tell right. them what to do or right. whatever if they can't, if they forget. And the French fry was what day again? November, November 30th. 30th. And that's at um, St. Anthony's, Anthony's Church. Church, right. Okay, and what was the other one? The other one is the Oak Ridge Boys on okay. December the 6th at the Civic Center. We will have tickets for sale. Okay. We'll be selling them at 1625 South Irby Street, which is in the Freedom Mall Plaza, uh -huh. the opposite end from where Goodies is. Mm -hmm. And we will have tickets there. And if we sell the tickets, we're going to get money returned to us for Toys for Tots. Okay. So if you're interested in tickets, come to Toys for Tots. Okay. Um, well, that's pretty much it for today's show. I would like to tell everyone here about the, um, the, the new job that you received yesterday. That's a good honor. You, you're, you're now the commander, I guess we would call it, of the, Ameri of the, the coalition. The coalition, that's the uh, Veterans Council. Mm -hmm. The Veterans Council. Yes. And that, that Veterans Council meets the third of every month at the library in the founders Anderson. room so and if any veteran out there would like to be participate in that council he's more than happy to attend and um it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning 10 o'clock 10 o'clock in the morning and and that's it and thanks everyone for watching the show yes one thing yes the military gang in town we have a military gang mm -hmm. that meets the last saturday every month at golden corral that's right for breakfast it happens to be because of thanksgiving it's going to be this saturday and Christmas will be the same thing, the Saturday before Christmas. And all veterans are welcome to come to that. Mm -hmm. It's just a chance to get down. We have Randy there occasionally, and he breaks us in on all the latest things that are happening in the uh, VA and stuff like that. So come out and enjoy us. It's only $6 and a dollar tip for the wagers. Yeah, and the other thing on any of this stuff, that if you want to know how to get a hold of Don or the Toys for Tots or anything, just or the, the dates and times for these meetings or something. If you forget, just remember you can get all this information off of www.florencecountyveteranaffairs.com. Leave the S off affairs, put it on the end. I mean, the S off of veterans and put it on the end of affairs. And that website's got a uh, calendar there that'll tell you where everything's going on in the area with veterans in Florence County. And I'd like to thank everyone for watching the show today. And once again, I'd really like to thank Francis Marin for um, providing us the opportunity to get this information. And uh, Jim and I like to say something before you leave. Okay. I mean, before I guess you want to say it? Yeah. So, Hoorah! <laughs>